Happy New Year. Let's make it a special one. Before we begin, let me start by saying Happy New Year to you all. It should be a fantastic year ahead should you choose it to be so. And in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips to help not only ensure that you set your resolutions for the coming year, but follow through and take action. Now, towards the end of the video, I will be announcing a new series I will be introducing fairly early into 2019, so stay tuned to learn more about it. So without further ado, let's start looking into how we can make 2019 a fantastic year. First and foremost, we need to understand what we want to achieve in 2019. Now many of us think of resolutions at the start of each year, but by the time the second or third week rolls around, most are ready to give up on the following through with what they want to achieve. Why is this? I mean, you knew what you hoped to achieve, right? Well, this is where the first mistake is. Usually when people set New Year's resolutions, they usually set them in hope to change some aspect of their lives. Resourcefulness is the ultimate resource. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. But most of us give ourselves a way out and that's why we don't have what we want. For example, someone might hope to lose 10 pounds, but then as they have to put in the work to achieve, they start allowing excuses to come through and stop them. It might be putting off a workout or enjoying a treat they shouldn't have. You see, when you hope to have something, you'll usually find reasons not to follow through and achieve it. However, the moment that hope becomes a must-have, things tend to change drastically. That moment when you realise you have to achieve something will change your outlook on why you need to have it. You will be more focused, more determined and more willing to make the necessary sacrifices to achieve the desired result. And this is why we need to have a vision. We need a clear understanding of what we want to achieve and why. It's not just about losing £10, it's losing £10 to feel more confident in your body when on holiday on a beach in Southern California at the end of July. You know what you want and more specifically why you want it. Now here's the other point about setting a vision. Your vision will motivate you to pull you towards it, not something where you have to be pushed. In the case of our £10 weight loss example, it's much easier to follow through and work towards a vision on the beach than it is simply trying to lose £10 with no tangible vision or reason in mind. Once the vision is in place, next we need to formulate a plan. How are you going to achieve your vision? What is needed to achieve the desired results? The fact of the matter is, you can't do something if you don't know how to do it. So if you want to do it, then learn how to. We live in an age where knowledge and information is literally at our fingertips. There's been no other time in modern history of man where such technology and comforts exist. If you need to learn something, go online, learn skills, theory, practical vocation, or anything and everything you want to. You choose what to learn, when to learn, and how to learn it. It's in your control and that's incredibly powerful. So if you want to learn how to lose 10 pounds to achieve your vision, look online about what exercises are good for losing weight. Learn about what your diet should consist of and most importantly, learn about what works best for you and your lifestyle. It sounds incredibly easy and the reason is because it really is that easy. You know what you want. Go online and type into Google or YouTube, how do I lose 10 pounds? And you'll have a plethora of results with different tips and tricks. From there, you take what you want to apply in your life and start formulating your plan to achieve your vision and adapt as needed. Let's look at our example of losing weight. We might want to look up a number of videos online about how to adjust our diet and they might say to include meat or fish for certain nutritional benefits. If you're vegetarian, you won't eat these products, so would need to adjust and adapt your diet to still ensure that you eat fruit and veg to provide the same nutrients, but at the same time work with your diet. Once a plan has been formulated and you know what you want and what you need to achieve to make your vision a reality, take steps to set targets or goals to achieve that plan. Break down the individual steps you need to do to achieve your vision within the desired timescale. 
Again, most of this can be found in resources online. The key is to work it in a way where you know you can apply it in your own life. I've previously created a video where I spoke about breaking down goals into smaller, more manageable targets and if you haven't watched it already, I will link it in the description down below for you. The next step to achieving your targets in 2019 is to take action and start now. Don't put off taking action, but get started immediately. When we put off things, they get left in a state of limbo and often the fear of getting started can hold us back. So the key is not to let yourself think too much, make a start and work from there. You will make mistakes, don't let that hold you back or stop you. Learn from them and move forward. You see, the progress is key here. It's not about just doing something, but knowing that you're actively working towards your vision that will keep you moving forward. Even if the plan isn't fully in place, there's no reason you can't at least start taking some small actions to get started. For example, in our weight loss example, most people know that running is beneficial for our health and weight. Therefore, do some basic running exercises to get started. From there, you can take steps to move forward and develop your plan to be more sophisticated and achieve greater results. Once you make your start, it comes down to the grind and it's time to buckle down and work. Without action, there's no reaction and therefore to get results, you need to take action. Often, the amount of work you put in can yield more results. You have to work hard, even when working efficiently and smart to get results, because no matter how smart you are, without working, you simply can't get results. So work smart by all means, and work out a plan to get results in the most efficient way possible. But that doesn't mean not to work hard. Put the work in to reach your vision. A part of working hard is our next point, which is to make yourself accountable. This can be to yourself, but often what gets the best results is to be accountable to others. By taking on the responsibility to achieve our results and holding ourselves accountable for failing to achieve them will give the impetus and drive for us to achieve our goals. In our example of exercising, try to find someone who, like you, is aiming to lose a little weight and partner up with them when exercising. Those days you might not be up to the morning run, they'll be there to push you to do it anyway. Likewise, the moments they're down, you can pick them up to keep going forward and make progress. Be accountable for your actions and more importantly, your inaction, as doing so will push you to do what you need to do in the most difficult situations. Finally, reward yourself and take time to relax. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in the daily run of working towards a vision. If you do this, that's fantastic. However, don't let your pursuit of your 2019 vision burn you out and more importantly, plan and take time to spend time and enjoy your loved ones, whether it be family, friends, a partner or your pet. The point is, enjoy your life and expand your mind. Doing things to take a time out can actually be beneficial to ensuring that you work at your best and are at your most creative. Just don't let the breaks be so long that they stop you from coming back and continuing your work towards your vision. So to reiterate, let's make 2019 a year to remember. Achieving results that most can only dream of by 1. Setting a vision 2. Creating a plan 3. Setting targets to achieve the plan 4. Starting now 5. Working hard 6. Rewarding yourself, including planning out time to enjoy holidays or relax. The first and most important step is to have your vision. Not only one that you hope to have, but one which compels you to make you feel like you must have it. Now, earlier I mentioned I wanted to announce a new series on the channel. This will be a motivation series where I upload talks from the best in the world so that we as a community can learn from them. Therefore, Motivation Mondays will be starting in 2019 in the coming months. When this does begin, there will be some scheduling changes to the channel, where I'll be posting on Mondays and Thursdays with Monday's uploads being the motivation series and Thursday's continuing on with the traditional content. I hope you look forward to and enjoy the exciting upcoming changes to the channel. And just begin to see what happens and see how easy it is to just do a few little rituals. Don't do them all, just do two or three new things. And you know what happens? You'll get momentum. Because once you discipline yourself in one area of your life, you feel yourself doing it in other areas as well. And I always say something that my original teacher taught me, I always remind people, there's always two pains in life. There's the pain of discipline, or there's the pain of regret. And discipline weighs ounces, as my friend Jim Rohn taught me. Regret weighs tons. You don't have regret. So right now, 
What do you want to change? What's it really like? What are the rituals that got you there? That will take a little homework. If you're not sure, ask the people around you. They'll tell you what your rituals are. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If I can help you in any way, we're here as a company to support you. Come have an event with us. Come to Unleash the Power Within or Master University or get a coach. You can get a free coaching session if you call our company and click on something on this. We'll probably have something on it or get a product. Or don't do anything with us, but do something with somebody starting with you. If you make the changes in yourself, you're gonna be proud this year, and no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life or you've taken a great life to another level. Because once you do that, you have something you can give other people, whether it be your kids or your friends or your family, and ultimately that's what life's about. So thanks for listening. I don't know how long I went here, but I hope this has been helpful for you. I just thought it's a new year, and I want people to be able to truly create a new life. And uh, until I see you again, hopefully some soon, or get the chance to meet you, live strong and live with, live with passion. And of course, God bless to you. Happy New Year. A quick question for the day. What's your resolution for 2019? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel or aren't subscribed, it might be of interest to you to subscribe to get more content like this.